And y'all, this video right here is just gonna go to show that I could be nosy if I want to, period. I am the bride of Christ. Sometimes I have to be nosy. Sometimes I have to look at stuff. This is why, like every time I see something, it's like, wow, this is why. This is why there had to be a bride. This is why he had to be able to trust somebody with certain information. He had to, because this world is just so deceived. Like, let's forget about people worshiping Satanists, right? You know, the celebrities. Let's just forget about that for a moment. Let's forget about sin. Let's forget about all of that stuff. It's in a word. Let's just think about this. Lies. Being deceived. What does it say in the word? It says, Satan, he is the father of lies. There is no truth in him. This world is just full of lies. And it could be a simple conversation that's like, bro, you believe that? You're deceived, period. Like when you're deceived, you believe anything. This is why when you have the spirit of God, you are not deceived by people. You are not deceived by what you see in media. You are not deceived by anything that comes out of people's mouths, period. You don't just believe anything. People are gullible. People are naive. They believe anything they hear. And I'm gonna prove it with this situation. Look at these comments. Look at this video. I'm gonna post it. When you were young, you found out your husband had a girlfriend. Oh yes. So you went and found out who she was, made friendly, friendly with her, and yes. then what happened? Well, we went out drinking. Yeah. And I wasn't hardly drinking, I was just putting her to her good. <laughs> and I said, well, we better go eat so we can go home. And she was so drunk, she face went right down on her food, and that's where it stayed. I called him and told her, come and get your lady friend. Her face is in the food. So you got her so drunk she passed out in her food and then you called him? Yeah. He must I have been so shocked. To come and get her. <laughs> Grandma, you're what they call savage. I know, and I love that. <laughs> yeah. When you were young, you found out your husband had a girlfriend. Oh, yes. So you went and found out who she was, made friendly, friendly with her, and yeah. then what happened? Well, we went out drinking. Yeah. And I wasn't hardly drinking. I was just putting her to her good. <laughs> and I said, well, we better go eat so we can go home. And she was so drunk. She face went right down on her food, and that's where it stayed. I called him and told her. Come and get your lady friend. Her face is in the food. So you got her so drunk she passed out in her food and then you called him? Yeah. He must. You want to know something? What my spirit said as soon as I saw it, immediately. She's lying. Do you not? Do y'all not see this? Look. But look. For, for certain people. This is why I had to do this. For certain people. People are testing their spirits by the spirit. And it's strengthening their discernment. So why you over here like. You're being nosy. You're posting this. You're doing that. No. It's strengthening the body of Christ. So if it ain't doing that for you. Look. They don't got nothing to do with me. Like you're on my page for what? X. Anyway. She's lying. I immediately said that. And you want to know something? Look at how she's saying it. Look at the way she's saying it. It's evil. The way her face is looking. It's evil while she said it. That's how I knew. And then not only that. Listen to what she says. So you're telling me that your man cheated on you with somebody. You decided to befriend her. Y'all went out for drinks. Immediately I was like she got her raped. Automatically. Automatically before she even finished the story. But listen. Oops, war alert, alert. Evil. This is what's evil, bro. And you think that's even? And that's another story talking about, oh, it's even. Now we're even. Yeah, now we're even. Now you're going to hell for eternity. And now you're about to die. And now you're about to lose everything you thought was holding you up and sustaining you. Yeah, that's so even, right? <laughs> Pitiful. Anyway. I'll be going for too long. This is why I used to make a whole bunch of videos in one day because I just have a lot to say. I really do. It's a lot going on. So, but for real, y'all believe this? Y'all believe that her man cheated on her with this female she befriended her, took her to a bar, got her drunk and said, oh, let's go out to eat and put her face into the food and said, come pick up your girl? Absolutely not. Like, look at these comments. Oh, she saw this. They're praising her. This is what happens when you are deceived. People do this with celebrities every day. And this is just a regular person. So think about it. Matter of fact, she's probably a Freemason. Just by the way her energy is, she's probably a Freemason. 
but the point that i'm making is this y'all when you don't have god in your life when you don't have the spirit you just feel when you don't have god in your life when you don't have the spirit you believe anything and i'm not the type of person that could do that real recognize real so people who are fake don't mind it because they're like well i'm doing the same thing like because you would think, well, if you know the truth now, why wouldn't you just follow the truth? It's because they know they're in a lie. They know they're living a lie. They know. And they don't want to change. They don't. So this just goes to show you. This girl got somebody raped and people are praising her because they're so deceived. They don't have the spirit of God. And so they don't pray about stuff. Like people just don't pray about stuff. And I guarantee you some of these people call themselves Christians, right? But you believe every word that you hear. Are you kidding me? You don't test the spirit by the spirit for real. That's why it says it in the word of God. But I guess y'all just take that for granted too. Y'all don't pray about self. Lord, is this true? Lord, is she telling the truth? Lord, is this person really like living this lifestyle that she claims she is? Lord, is this person a Satanist? Y'all don't ask this. Y'all don't ask God these questions. This is why he's doing what he's doing. This is why you shouldn't feel bad for a demon because his true children pray to him about stuff. Put it like this. This is why you shouldn't pray for demons. This is why you just shouldn't feel bad for them going to hell and stuff like that, no matter what they say on social media or anything. Because think about this. There's so many people on YouTube that post their testimonies of God showing them hell or God showing them their death if they don't stop sinning. And then there's people on this earth that never get those dreams, never get those visions, never hear from God. There's a reason for that. They were not his children to begin with because his true children actually pray to God for these things. His true children cry out to him and say, God, show me this the way you see it. His true children will ask, Lord, show me hell. I don't really think that it's real, but I know you're real. But is there really a hell? Show me. God shows them. Like, if you ask, you will receive. People don't ask. People don't care. 